Well, I should make another video. I haven't really been talking about the news so much and the headlines and, and that, but uh, there's some real obvious things. Some people were killed, not just children. And to me it doesn't make a whole lot of difference what age murders murder whether it's abortion or whether it's death panels for the elderly or anybody in between and uh, you know in a way I don't think that the president's taking a hard enough stance about the sarin gas thing. Okay, it is unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable. Whoever's doing that should be destroyed. If it was the the, the Syrian government or Assad's government, then yeah. You know, I'd say yeah, go after him thing is, you don't hear the president saying, hey, let's make sure we know who's doing this, and we're not going to permit it, and we're going to stop it one way or the other. If it's the rebels, if it's somebody else, if it's Al-Qaeda, but it's like, we will get to the bottom of it. That's what the call should be. And then deal harshly with who's ever doing that. I, I'd agree to deal harshly with Assad if that's who is doing it. You better prove it. But it doesn't appear that the Assad government is doing it. This is America. We have this thing. It's called innocent until proven guilty. Okay, we violated that in this country. We have not been making that a priority. You know, people people choose, oh, what do you think? You, you think they're guilty? You, you think they're innocent? People just make choices. Which one they believe? Rather than saying, well, I don't know. You know, I need more uh, information. I need more evidence. But no, it's popular, you know, just to, to decide for ourselves. You know, like a, a armchair quarterback or something what's going on and you know we need to grow up okay we're concerned about hundreds of children and also hundreds of adults hundreds of others being poisoned in a in a day of attacks. I don't know how many attacks, I don't know how many uh, sarin gas bombs or missiles or whatever were used. We're not getting very good details about it. There's no who, what, where, when, and why being showed to the people. It's just all rumor stuff. And there's even conflicting stories. But innocent till proven guilty is something that everybody should consider. And I, for one, I do not like to say that I know somebody is guilty if I don't know that they're guilty. No matter how guilty it appears. I always respected that as a child I always thought you know 
Yeah, that, that's so cool. Innocent until proven guilty. Yes, exactly. That's right. I've always lived by that. You know, I might be quick to suspect. I might even be quick to suggest or even, you know, accuse that somebody may have. But I'm not quick to say that it's a definite. You know, it's, it's one thing to say, yeah, you think somebody's guilty. It's another to be on a jury and say that we're... You know, if you're on a jury, juries, they don't know. Well, what I want to get at is that, like, you know, here's here's the case in Syria of uh, people being gassed, and the number's up there around 1,500. Well... You know, statistically, you know, if you look at children, I wonder how many medications or vaccines there are that have each caused over 400 children to perish. I wonder how many foods there are. I don't want any children to perish. If they're going to perish because of eating peanuts, I would want to keep the peanuts away from them. <clears throat> you know, yesterday the chemtrails started again. I put up a couple videos yesterday and then this morning same thing actually even a stronger attack there was quite a few more right now it's 11:45 a.m. here eastern standard time daylight savings time so you know high noon of the sun is another hour away or so but I'll go check our skies cuz I want it cleared up by noon what I filmed this morning, what was going on, because we're getting it again today. But what I want to say, one of the things that I suspect about the chemtrails and the chemicals that they're dumping on us, and they're causing different symptoms, when people have symptoms of things, what do they do? They go to the doctor, and what's the doctor do? Prescribe prescription drugs. How many prescription drugs are prescribed because of the chemtrails? It's going on. Ooh, money maker. Here, make people uncomfortable. They'll go to the doctor. There's so many reasons why they do things. You know, I was going off on a video I was making about, you know, that, well, you know, for some, the whole chemtrailing thing, it's just for economics provides jobs. We need to do it for the economy. <laughs> and I was saying, you know, pay those people that are doing it, pay them the same money to just go and pick dandelions out of people's yards. So those people don't have to use Roundup and herbicide on their lawns. Use those people, pay them to do things, you know, have them pick weeds out of people's gardens and pay them 500 bucks a day that'd be fine with me at least they'd be doing something useful not this BS of chemtrails I don't have sympathy for the people who are participating I don't care how innocent that they really are I'm not sympathetic about it They might be innocent, but I'd slap them to bring them to their senses. I'd fight with them physically, I would. Chemtrail pilots, come argue with me. Okay? Because we'll surely 
end up hooking if you want to keep arguing. If you want to fight about it, I'll fight about it even if I get my own ass kicked. That's how I feel about it. All this stuff they say, oh, nonviolence, oh, be nonviolent. Yeah, <laughs> they want everybody to be nonviolent, everybody to be sending love and light. Don't be upset about anything, people. Just roll over and die! Quietly and say thank you while you're taking your last breaths. Before you can't say thank you anymore. That's what they want. The whole thing's insane. We just need to be outraged. Left, right, and center in every way from every perspective that we come from. I'm surprised I got a voice been hollering again this morning. We don't know exactly who's doing it, like the chemtrails. Or the sarin gas? Well, I, I say it's the same people doing all that. Anything, anytime, anywhere. Any of these sinister, malevolent behaviors toward humanity. I have a pretty good guess who's doing it. It's whoever can afford to do it. It's those who can afford to do it. And who can afford to do it? Well, let me give you a clue. We have a thing in this country called the Federal Reserve System. Or Federal Reserve. And the majority of the money that gets paid in taxes goes to them. The majority of the money that gets paid back to banks for all the loans, whether it's personal loans, whether it's business loans, industries, everything's running on debt. And everything that's being paid back to pay off that debt is going to a group of people. And what I'm saying is that there's been over a hundred times as much money paid back to that group of people who never gave us any money off their pile because it was issued out of nothing. That group of people have received all that money. And they want to say it's Rockefeller or Rothschild. And I'm saying no, it's it, it's more secretive than them. Those are front people. Those are bankers. They were loan money. They're investors. Rothschild might be a a name, but that that gold that that dynasty began on everything wasn't there. He wasn't just a nice old Jewish man that collected old coins, like the story goes. An antique coin dealer named Bauer who ends up becoming the banker of England. And, and the name changed to Rothschild. Red Shield I'm saying, yeah, they are a shield. There's somebody hiding behind the shield, and it is not the shield. The shield doesn't hide behind the shield. It's those who controlled the gold, who had the gold before that. And that was all gathered up by Attila the Hun, and all, you know, it was a lot bigger story and a lot more going on there than any history story we'll ever get. There's a secret group of people who enslave whoever they can. 
They make pets out of us. You know, like Madonna, for instance, one of our pop stars, queen of pop or whatever, right? She's this big, important person. She's a pet. They own her now. She's their pet, for instance. She don't belong to the people. She don't belong to herself. She, she would have grown up with our society, been part of our, you know, our, our culture and in the news and everything, you know, and she hasn't been there. You don't hear from her. Oh, what'd she go to move to England for? You know? So they keep her, you know, well controlled. They wouldn't want somebody like that get away from them, do their own thing. Because they're pretty smart people. And talented and gifted. And they rob those people away from making them their pets. And use those people probably as the pilots of the chemtrails. Oh, a big honorable, you know, position to have. Ooh, you know, saving the planet by by chemtrailing it so that it doesn't overheat from the sun. And and some of those celebrities and that that have made millions of dollars, they probably get them to spend their own money, buy their own chemtrail plane and have it customized and everything. And go up there. Who knows what the heck's really going on. All I know is that doctors keep writing prescriptions. That should have ended already. There's a lot more evidence of who is killing who when you look at prescriptions and the effects on people than for what just happened in Syria, where there's some obvious deaths, but you know we're not getting an obvious story of who made the sarin gas, where did it come from, who released it. But with the pharmaceuticals, you know who made them. It says so on the packaging. You know who's prescribing them. And I don't have sympathy for them doctors either. Okay, they should know better. I don't want to tear their heads off. Unless, of course, I knew that they didn't care if there's a doctor out there that wants to kill people. You know, I hope he chokes on his tongue and dies. I don't care about those people. I'm tired of what's happening to the innocent people. I'm tired of how many innocent people have been, their lives destroyed in a lot of different ways. And the focus is what's going on in Syria. It's not about, about you know, whether or not we should attack Assad's government or the, the nation of Syria with missile strikes or boots on the ground or whatever. It's who did that? If Assad did it, he should be hung. That's true. But I don't think that Saddam Hussein should have been executed because of what had gone on there. There were two sides to the story. And at that time, what he did was approved. How come they didn't just go after him for doing that when he did it? Why was it years later and that related to the to 911? BS, BS, BS. They twist everything around. And when I say they, 
I'm not talking about Obama or Bush or any of our politicians. Those they are all conformists. They're just they're being used. They're suckers. They want the popularity, they want the money, you know, they might want to do something good if they can, but you know, uh you know, mostly they're you know, it's a career they chose or somebody chose them and and said, Yeah, we'd like you to be a senator or something. You know, Obama was obviously picked out of the potential candidates for president for while he was made into a candidate by somebody. It wasn't like, oh wow, here's this, you know, really guy that just keeps amazing everybody. You know. He makes a one speech at a Republican or a Democratic National Convention and and, and he's uh all of a sudden he's the man? Has he made one popular speech? I don't think so. He was set up to become president, but he's <laughs> he's much like the rest of us. He's not the real insider. You know, even Feinstein and and so many they're all being used you know it is more appropriate they are kind of idiots they're being led there's there's a group that runs the government that are the old time employees of the 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 government they run everything from behind the scenes they hire you know their replacements and stuff this is they're not elected the vast majority of all the employees of the government are not elected like our elected officials who also receive a check from the government. You know, they, they need people to perform certain duties that, you know, only we the people can perform. In, in that capacity because those control freaks aren't probably even very good workers. My dad worked for the government of Michigan, the state of Michigan. And he always had something that frustrated him about the state. The state this, or he started calling them the administration. And he didn't even like to talk about him because he had nothing good to say. And yet, he wanted to talk good about the state of Michigan. And, but those are the corporate state of Michigan. Those are the corporate people of the state of Michigan. skies are clearing up from this morning. We had at least another dozen chemtrails, probably more this morning. More than yesterday. And, uh, you see, I think one of the things that the chemtrailing is doing is creating a lot of symptoms that people are going to doctors and getting more prescriptions, you know. For those who say it's all about money, you know, right there, it's all about money, yeah. But I'm saying it isn't all about money. I'm saying they straight up want to kill people. And it's more about death to the populace, to the people, to the, we the people who are democracy. We are the mob of mob rule. The mob is the people. The mob is not the ruling class that rules it over us. 
There's nothing wrong with mob rule. The mob should rule. If you want to call democracy mob rule. That's what it's talking about. Well. I'm not talking in a very kind way and stuff. And, you know, I'm pretty irate. Pissed off. So many things that I could talk about, so many things I could say. And I'm keeping on the surface. I'm not long winded, long worded, trying to convince anybody. You look for yourself, you figure it out, you think for yourself, you think for you. And I hope I can provoke or inspire people to to think about things. I don't care whether people like me or not. You know, take your opposing side. You know, that's fine. You know, believe in something and go with it. But be honest and truthful to yourself. You can't be honest and truthful to others until you are to yourself. So I'm not saying, oh, you got to tell the truth to everybody and you got to be honest to everybody. You know, no. You have to be honest to yourself. To be truthful to yourself. Try to comprehend the truth. Let the truth matter. I want to know the truth. I want to know the truth about, you know, chemtrails too. Who's doing it? I'm suggesting and accusing who's doing it are the people who's receiving all the money from the Federal Reserve and the banking. All the money that's going to the IRS and everything, it goes to them. It doesn't go to the U.S. Treasury. And if it does go to the U.S. Treasury, if any of that does go it only goes there because it's already spent. And then they borrow the rest. But a complete, full-scale understanding of it all needs to happen, or we don't need to know what happened if we set up a proper system for the people where the money is allotted out when it is issued and people get a share and no more than 10% of it ever, ever, ever goes back to those who are issuing the money. Now not only is more than 10%, more than 100% is going back to them. Although it hasn't gone back because there isn't that much money in the system but they keep issuing it we produce it with our labors and we pay it real money back to them that we the people created the value in that money not the issuers of the money and yet they're receiving it all back and with interest Did you see how outrageous it is it's worth understanding well, you guys, everybody, uh, you know, be honest to yourselves, okay? Lie to me, but be honest to yourselves. And think about, you know, who done it, who done it all, who to blame. You can blame Obama, you can pick a person to blame, but you're not going to have the blame put down on the organization, on the organism, on the group. I like how the uh, Jean Austin Fitz or Catherine Austin Fitz, you know, calls it a breakaway civilization. There's a breakaway civilization. And they're technocrats. They got mad scientists and it's it's all behind the scene. They hire everybody. But uh, that breakaway civilization is we fund 
them they issue us the money and we fund them we we give all that money and it's real money then they couldn't just issue themselves out money because then there's nothing to back it up they need us we are the ones who add the value to the money we're the ones that made it valuable because we trust in it see and we buy and we sell as long as we do that the agreement stands we can back all the agreement anytime any minute we could say we don't recognize it as money we don't recognize that money if we don't believe in it and we don't use it then it then it is no good but it's because we believe in it we use it we work and we produce stuff and that money is there to to represent the value of our work our production and that's the only reason why it has value for them and it all wouldn't be so bad except for that they got 10 no they got a hundred times as much of it as we do and there's probably a thousand times and more of us than them and it's not like you know well they got the biggest piece of cookie <laughs> you know it's like no they got the cookie and we're looking for the crumbs and it's our cookie anyways curse them chemtrails you know to hell with the Federal Reserve and all that the whole Freemason ordeal Supreme Council it's over it's all over and dare I say Zionist Zionist bankers You know, I suppose there's Zionists, and then there's Zionists, and then there's Zionists. There's all kinds. There's Zionists that go to the mountain. There's Zionists that go down in the valley. Who are hidden. Anyway. You guys have, have a good day and uh, you know love hate war peace let's do it all folks hate what you gotta hate war against what you gotta war against don't give up the fight don't quit fighting okay I agree with no war in Syria certainly as far as you know to attack Assad but I would say myself that if a government would do something like that to their people yes they would deserve to be blown off the map okay and I'm suggesting that the Federal Reserve is doing that to us and they deserve to be blown off the map all right peace war love and hate what you gotta hate I'm out of here.